two years after playing in London. The Packers will play a second game outside of the U.S. The NFL announced yesterday that Green Bay will be the Eagles' opponent for the first ever game in South America. It's taking place in Brazil, September 6th, one night after the traditional season opener. Now, about the matchup itself, it features two of the NFC's top quarterbacks in Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts. Last season, Hurts had the edge in wins, but Love threw for more touchdowns, yards, and had fewer picks and went deeper in the postseason. We have Kimberly Martin. Hello, hello. Joining us, matching the vibe of everybody on set. And the nails, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, Kmart, I'm gonna start with you. Would you rather have love or hurts this season? Uh, this was tough for me, because y'all know I love Jalen Hurts, but I actually uh, would rather have Jordan Love. And it's not because I'm down on Jalen Hurts. I just think based on, what's, you start with me already with the thing? No, I just said you 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 it's love Jalen Hurts, I do but love... you're choosing Jordan Love. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Because this isn't Don't about... Don't love him too, doggone it's... much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because I'm down on Jalen, but I think we already know what the Packers are. They are a young, ascending team. They are a team with a very young roster. Uh, and a quarterback who came into last season having to fill the shoes of a future Hall of Famer and having to answer the question of whether he can be the guy. Forget about being Aaron Rodgers. Can you just be the guy right now? And Jordan Love, as Christine, you pointed out, he had more touchdowns mm -hmm. than Jalen Hurts. He had more yards than Jalen Hurts. And he went further in the playoffs, right? Ooh, so, so this season, I, when I look at the teams, I have a lot of questions about the Eagles. That was some good stuff there, Kmart. Goodbye. <laughs> we gonna say you sing you just that have chair. To turn, turn the You're, chair. Cause that chair. Cause that chair. Yeah. There. Okay. That was some good stuff. Now, uh, Jordan Love had a phenomenal season. Led his team to the playoffs. Went into Dallas. Boat raced the Dallas Cowboys. But we aren't too far removed from Ooh. a guy named Jalen Hurts being a massive MVP candidate of the National Football League. Uh huh. And when I look at what they have coming back, two number one wide receivers because you have to factor that into the equation, right, on who you're choosing, who's around them. A very solid offensive line. They just signed Saquon Barkley at the running back position. I believe Jalen Hurts, in the way that he approaches the game, he's not satisfied with the way he played last season. So I think he's going to step up even more this season in 2024 and be very dynamic, so much so – in the manner that we've seen him in 2022. I really do believe that. I wonder if two years ago was the peak. And if that was the peak, maybe we can work our way back up. Not saying we can't get back up there, but we're talking about buying a candidate going into this season. Jordan Love's got a whole lot it of ceiling. It seems very simple, Joe, doesn't it? whole lot of it ceiling, yeah. When Harry Douglas lays out, it's very easy. But I'll tell you, but if, Kimberly if a peak is... You can damn, damn near win the MVP and go to a Super Bowl. That's yeah. a hell of a peak. Terry did talk about all the things that the, that the Eagles are bringing back, but he didn't mention all the things that they lost. Yeah. <laughs> like, which, which is really funny, um, considering that they, their center retired, this right? Is first take. I'm not going <laughs> to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> also, the fact that they will have two new coordinators for the second straight year, right? Okay. So I think, again, when you talk about the questions of who are the Eagles, are, why I'm high on, high on Jalen Hurts is because I don't think, I don't think that, that peak, that Super Bowl year, is an aberration. I think he can get back there. But come, when you head into this season with so many questions to answer, it's not just the quarterback. It's the entire team and literally they, two months of them free-falling. And no one had answers. And, and whereas you saw the Packers completely go like this. So let me, let me ask you a question. When it comes to the entire team, and I'm just going to focus on the offensive side of the ball, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to the Green Bay Packers and also the Philadelphia Eagles, when you look at offensive line, who are you taking offensive line-wise? Joe, you go first. Edge to Philadelphia. Okay, <laughs> Eagles. Kmart, you go second. Eagles, I know the answer. <laughs> when you look at wide receiving core, Joe, who are you taking? These questions feel a bit Joe, just answer the question, Joe. Yeah, the jury just wants They're to hear the question. The answer. Eagle wide receiving Eagle core wide receiving more core. proven. Yes, what you're leaving out of where this is going is the fact that Green mm -hmm. Bay is one of the youngest, was the youngest offense in the NFL last year. Yes. There's room for growth there. Yes, and they will be, in my opinion, the best wide receiver group, I think, in another year or two. Okay. I, I, do, I am high on their wide receiver group. But as of but right when now, you have answer two Harry number Douglas' ones, question. It's going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Now, Kmart, wide receivers, who are you taking? 
You know, I love me some Devontae Smith and obviously A.J. Brown. So I will take those two wide receivers. Man, we're, we're, we're going good. We're, we're moving here. Uh, <laughs> we let's go to tight end position. This is really looking uh, good for you. So for the tight end position, <laughs> Joe, where are you going? Right now, it's a slight edge to Philadelphia as well, but we're <laughs> all doing this based We don't on need to soliloquy, Joe. Just <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> tight end position, what's the you, team you're going with? Edge Your Honor, K. Martin, so where are you the, going the, with this? The, the defendant, he's, he's belligerent right, right now, and yeah. I don't like that. It's <laughs> Re remember, yeah. your counterpoint to this is the question is who are you buying this that's year, not like, who are you buying in the past. Also, what quarterback are you like? Do you want? Do you want Hurts or Love? <laughs> going that was the original coming question. Off that was of well last answered. year. <laughs> that's cute. It was cute how yeah, you yeah. tried, but no, no. You feel, but how do you feel about the Packers versus the Green Bay? What do you feel? Or Packer, uh, Packers Eagles. Eagles? How do you feel about that? Mm. No, I still, I still. When I look at the Packers, I think this is a team in the NFC that is a Super Bowl contender. Like, I actually think my questions for Jordan about Jordan Love were answered last year. So, I feel really high. See, that's the funny thing because as a team, I'm going to side with the Packers because of the potential oh. of what that defense Goodbye. can be. Sir. Goodbye. <laughs> Absolutely. No it's, okay. no, it's not confusing because Joe's on the opposite side, too. Yeah, I'm about to do the same okay. thing. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, Team -wise, I'm high on the Green Packers Bay. when you have all those first-round draft picks on defense. And we know that Green Bay Packer defense the last mm -hmm. two years didn't live up to their capabilities. Mm -hmm. Now you have a defensive coordinator in Jeff Halfley. They could be better in that capacity. So, which would make their team even more better than what they were in 2023. So, so in summation, you are saying you are higher on Jalen Hurts because you believe he wasn't satisfied with last year, so he's just going to give it a better effort this year? That's essentially what your argument no, is what to I'm, this exactly question. Exactly what I'm saying is that I'm higher on Jalen Hurts because their offense, in my opinion, is better than the Green Bay Packers offense. The same offense that we saw for two months scuttle around. Okay, cool. I just, yeah, I, just I think, I think best that's... offensive line, best wide receiver group, better tight end group, running back. Uh, you can make your pick there. You can take Josh Jacobs or Saquon Barkley. Uh, I give it to Saquon. I think what you want to do with Philadelphia is look to buy low. You got to ask yourself, what were the problems with that team last year? Myriad, several yeah. problems. One of the keys to any player you talk to who talks about what happened last year, coordinator situation. Both coordinators were in over their heads. So what did they do? They rectified. They got rid of both of them. They bring in. Um, Vic Fangio, they, they bring in uh, Kellen Moore on the offensive mm -hmm. side. Now, yep. those might not be elite coordinators, but those are going to be upgrades. Those are going to be solutions to some of the problems they have. Right now, walk into this game in week one that's in Brazil. Philadelphia's a one-and-a-half-point favorite, very small favorite. You walk around these hallways, everybody loves Green Bay. Greenberg won't stop talking about <laughs> Green Bay. <laughs> when Greenberg gives you the seal of approval, <laughs> you want to start now. looking in the other direction. <laughs> you saw what he did to the Jets. Oh. Philadelphia is an ultimate buy low for me. Right now, they put that point spread out there. They say Philadelphia minus one and a half. Everyone thinks of Philly. First thing they think, second half collapse. Everyone looks at Green Bay and they say, this is a team that's ascending. Apply that psychology. When we get closer to the start of the season, Philly's going to be out to prove something. Green Bay no longer the hunter. Hunter, They're the hunted this mm -hmm. season. They're not going to surprise anybody. I like Philadelphia to jump on them in that game in Brazil. And we're also getting a healthier Jalen Hurts, right, than the version that we've seen in 2023. That zone read may be a little bit more in the factor now with a running back like, Sa like Saquon Barkley. So I'm really looking forward to the Eagles and how they back, bounce back in 2024. Okay, Mark. Wait, you said you're higher on Green Bay or the Eagles? I'm higher on Green Bay. Okay. Going into the season. Okay.